With the growing cases of the coronavirus here in the borderland, we're hearing from one couple and their road to recovery. KTC 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela shares their story and what they are asking of those who have also recovered. After taking an antibody test and learning that it came out positive for COVID-19, the Russells came here to Vitalant to donate their plasma. As soon as the antibody test came out, Alan and I both, it was, it was a natural thought to us, if we've got it or have had it, have the antibodies, we absolutely need to find out how we can donate plasma. And so they did. Patty Russell says while on a trip to Florida, she was originally diagnosed the flu. Her husband, Alan, later catching what she had. However, after taking COVID-19 antibody tests, the tests came back positive, And that's when they say they went looking for help. We called um, the Texas Tech uh, Health Science Center, the medical school, and engaged them on the fact that we had tested positive and we wanted to donate plasma. And they went into action immediately. According to researchers with Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center of El Paso, the plasma can help people still fighting the infection because the donor's antibodies are specific to the new virus. As for what that process was like for the Russells. It's easy and as we understand, one donation of plasma can help up to four people. So, you know, we just feel like it's a no brainer that if you've had it and you test positive for the antibodies, it, it's what we all need to do. Based off their experience, the Russells say it's important for other recovered COVID-19 patients to consider donating plasma in efforts to help save the lives of those who are infected. If everybody in El Paso County, for instance, donated plasma that has recovered, there would be enough plasma to treat every live case that we have in the county now. So um, we really encourage people to, if you've recovered, to get out and, and donate your plasma and help others. You can save a life or two or three. And if you are a recovered patient from COVID-19 and want to learn more about donating plasma, you can check out this story on our website at ktsm.com. Reporting in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. All right, Tatiana.